What's up, internet? For the first time ever, I used an ultra wide as my primary monitor. I spent over two months with it as my daily driver. Before that, my setup consisted of three monitors with a 27 inch screen as a primary monitor. So, for those who have never used an ultra wide before, would I recommend that over a multi monitor setup? Pero bago nun, I would definitely recommend buying a Windows 10 CD key from our sponsor. Pero saan ka kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, kalito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished. May legit working cdkey ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com There are some clear benefits to using an ultra-wide. One is if you don't have the desk space for multiple monitors or you don't want to have to go through the hassle of monitor arms and mounting the monitors and figuring out where to place brackets and things like that, an ultrawide gives you the benefits of multiple monitors without any of the hassle. I used a 34-inch ultrawide from ROG and there's so much screen space that it's basically like having two monitors. I would have two programs side by side, say Word and my browser or Excel and my Slack chat window and there's more than enough screen space for you to see both programs clearly. In fact, there's so much screen real estate that you don't want one program filling up the entire screen because it no longer displays useful information. For example, a Word document. You don't need to see four pages ahead of what you're typing. It's a lot more useful to have your Word doc open, which scales nicely to one page at a time, and then your web browser on the right to have a research window open to help with whatever you're writing. Having multiple monitors is super useful and an ultrawide allows you to have that productivity edge without the complicated logistics of having three screens to set up. Last on productivity, there are some programs which do benefit to being full screen on an ultrawide, such as editing programs where it is beneficial to have a very long horizontal timeline type of view. You can only get that on an ultrawide. It would look super awkward to have the same effect on multiple monitors. As I am used to three monitors when I use the ultra wide, I had it as my primary and then a 27 incher as my secondary. So even with the ultra wide, I was still using multiple monitors. By definition, an ultra wide is more of a rectangle than a square, and in certain games, the resolution feels a little squished. Like the floor and the ceiling were too close together and object sizes in relation to each other were just a bit off. I didn't experience this in most games, but I did feel it noticeably in Outer Worlds. Things just seemed a little weird. In sim games though, Mech Warrior, Space Sim Games, Racing Games, the extra length of the ultra wide adds to the immersion. One clear downside is the cost. Ultra wides are pricey, and depending on what you buy, you could easily get three monitors for the price of one ultra wide. Especially because with three monitors, only your primary monitor needs to be nice. The other two monitors can be old, secondhand, cheap, and they would still serve their purpose. Before using an ultra wide, my concern was exhaj na bato. It's just so much monitor right in your face. Can I handle all of that screen? Nakakalula ba siya? Surprisingly though, your eyes quickly get used to the expanded screen space. And when I gave up using the ultra wide, I found myself missing it a lot. <laughs> so an ultra wide isn't for everyone. Hindi siya bagay sa lahat ng use cases. But if you are the type who likes having multiple monitors and has a lot of extra cash to spend, then this might be something worth considering. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwan nato. Dejo club. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.